G'day hunters, welcome back to Call of the Wild. We're back out here today on Urshfelden, and you guys know what it means already. When you see me out on Urshfelden, it means we're going for a goose hunt. It's been a long time since we've been out, and you know, I'm still looking for that melanistic, still looking for some diamonds and some other rares. So hopefully we'll be able to pick up some of that stuff today, but I'm just keen to be back out here. Just have a bit of a relax, you know, just, just chill out here in the beautiful paddocks, beautiful fields if you're American. And just hunting some geese. I mean, there's nothing better. It's very relaxing and very entertaining. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get straight into it. If you guys haven't seen my goose guide or you haven't seen any of my other goose hunting videos, I will share with you guys my hotspots, the places that I always hunt, and also my loadout. I'll do that very, very quickly after these guys land and we're able to take some of these down. That one there is actually looking a little different, but Tori, our dog, is going to be in the way. Not sure if it is. Don't think it is. But that's going to smoke that one. Good stuff. And we've actually got some other ones coming in here. So I'll just quickly check those, make sure there's nothing fantastic in that lot. And there doesn't seem to be anything decent in that lot. So I'll quickly run it through with you. Just so you guys know, if you haven't seen my other videos, I could just send you over there. But I might as well tell you while I got you here. I basically, I use the 216 gauges because it's got the highest magazine amount in there. You've got five shots in each magazine. Gives you 10 shots with a shotgun. And then if that's not enough, then I'll have the 22 here too. That's also got 10 shots. And these guys, they're just here. We're just smart as well. And then that way you're able to just uh, switch back over. And they're just going to start dying on me here. But once they fly back in a suitable spot. Let's change the zeroing range on that one there. Might be starting to get a bit out. But that's why you got the 22. Because if they are a little bit far out, then you can start just trying to slay some of them that way. I still reckon the 22 is actually one of the best goose hunting guns you got out there. So... That'll do it for that lot. And as you can see, where I'm about to show you where I am, you can see why I'm hunting here, can't you? Because there's just geese absolutely everywhere. But just quickly check this lot here. That's a decent four there. They're alert, so he's not gonna not gonna come in. But with the 22, it's pretty much just a matter of trial and error. But we just gotta pretty much just do that. Take him down, pretty simple. But, now I can show you. Hunting pressure doesn't matter as much with the geese, so I wouldn't stress too much if you got it bright like this. Doesn't matter, they're still going to come through. They follow a flight path, so as you said, a geese might come across that way, they might go across that way. You've got different flight paths, and these two spots that I've got here, I've found that they get the most intersecting, so you'll have certain flight paths, they cross over in this certain spot with your decoys and your cola and stuff. Once they come in a bit closer, then you're going to be able to get them in straight away. So with this setup here, you're not going to be able to fail. But it's this top right paddock or field up here in Ritterstein. That's a fantastic spot. One of my favorites. And also down here in Schoenfeld. Down this left set of fields here. The top left one there. Absolute dynamites. They're the only two spots I have geese. I've got my two setups there. And that's all I ever need. And I've got goose after goose after goose. Never go wrong. So do that. And you'll be sweet. Absolutely killing it. So, yeah. That's that's a thing. We'll just check there's nothing decent in here. And if there's not, then I will see you back at the next lot there. And that's actually a grey, I believe. Which is rare. That's cool. Reload the old shoddy. And get it as it's flying over. I usually let them settle down, but... Well, I got ya. We might as well throw a couple in that one. And I'm sure you guys are aware by now too, the goose are some of the best ways to make money in the game. So that one there has just died. And see where it fell down, just over there. I'll meet you over there and we'll pick up our red goose. There it is there, guys. I thought it was a grey from the angle it was on, but it clearly wasn't. It was a brown hybrid, so they're just uncommon. They're not a rare, but you'll see them a fair bit, and they are pretty cool. Hope you can hear me over all the geese in the background, but 
yeah, so that's a pretty good start here for us. I'll just quickly have a quick squizzy over here. That there's another... Might actually be something different there, I think. I'll use 22 for that, because it is a bit further out. I know that's an uncommon or a rare of some sort, but I can't actually remember what one it is. So yeah, hunting geese guys, you will find plenty of rares. You will find plenty of big geese. I've shot a few diamonds as well, so they're a great way if you're first getting started. But, as I said, this isn't a tutorial. So, the tutorial segment of the non-tutorial is now finished. So, if you've just come for that, that's all good. Thank you very much. But, if you're here for the actual hunt, then this is where it begins. This is why I love this spot up here at Ritterstein, though. Geese everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. But, I'll say it again and again and again, nearly every video. If you haven't seen me before, I'm colorblind, okay? So, just, uh, my eyes are bad. Just take it easy on me, yeah? But, that's another brown hybrid. Very good. Middle neck shot on a goose. That's pretty hard to do. Pretty hard to do. But, I'm just going to keep killing some stuff. And as soon as we see some other cool stuff, I'll bring you back along. I did forget to mention too, guys. The times don't matter too much with the geese. But I find morning is a lot more productive. So I usually start at or up around about 6 o'clock in the morning. And hunt through till about 10 o'clock. And then I reset the time. You don't have to do that. But I find that I get more and more in those earlier hours. So, that there... Finally, okay, I said it's not a tutorial. That's it. No more education. If you got any questions, leave them down for me in the comments below while you're hitting that like button. But we're just hunting now. That's all we're doing. We're hunting. All right, I know what we're after, but this is why I take the 303 with me, because that's a bloody nice fellow deer there. No. No. Don't know if either of those were good. Well, one of them were, because they're going down. Hopefully it was vital. We're going to go pick that up, because that's a really nice added bonus. Holy cow, guys. We didn't even get the chance to go and get that fellow deer. That is a very good chance to be a diamond goose. Quickly check the rest of the flock. But this always happens as soon as I get caught outside of my... Um, outside of my blind, and he's alert, because I was just shooting a lot of shots. So what I'm going to have to do is take him with the 22. Unless... He might be close enough to have a go with the shotgun. We'll have a go. We'll have a crack. We hit him. We hit him, so he will go down from that. Won't take him any more times, even though it won't matter too much, but just to be on the safe side. Let's hit him that twice. We'll keep an eye on him and where he dies. He'll die just over the other side of my setup there. That's crazy. Did not expect to see that today. That's made my night. But he's about to fall down right about now. Yep, yep. He's going, he's going, he's going. Boom. Just the other side of the setup there. Pinpoint that, but we'll just check on our fallow deer first. I swear, though, the good stuff always comes when I'm caught outside of my blind. That's why I take the 22 with me, just in case they're too far out. Because a lot of time they will be, and they won't fly over you like that did, but... That's a really nice four there. Unfortunately, we didn't get any good shots, and even if we did, we were going to ruin it because we shot it straight in the noggin. Didn't even realize. Unfortunately, but that's okay. Pretty standard gold there, but nice little bonus when you consider and we're not hunting for fallow deer. Let's go get our diamond. Not going to lie, guys, I am kind of nervous. I've never been trolled by a goose before. I don't even know if it's a thing, but I'm very wary that it could be. Uh, so I don't really want to risk that. This one should be the one. But we'll have a look and fingers crossed. It's a diamond, 8.6, right on the money. Doesn't get any better than that, guys. Does not get any better than that. If you're here for this part of the video, which I really hope you are, let me know how many diamond geese have you shot? I reckon this is probably my fourth or my fifth one. Uh, since I've been on YouTube, not all of them have not all of them have been on videos, but oh wow, I still get just as excited as the day I first got my first one. So 
Definitely recommend goose hunting if you haven't done it before. It's a blast. There's a couple of nice fours in this flock here, so I will let them land. That way, we'll have a good chance of getting all of them. But that one at the front there is another uncommon. I believe that's another brown hybrid, but I'm not 100% sure at this stage. So I will take it easy, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be. But it actually kind of looks a little bit like a grey. But the ones that are grey, they could be a bald leucistic, they could be grey, they could be light grey, or they could be, which is more likely, the brown hybrid. So, you know, just take it as it comes. Just shoot it anyway, and when you pick it up, you'll soon see what it is. But we'll wait for him to land, and then we'll have a crack. Upon closer inspection, it's definitely only a brown hybrid. But we are going to take it anyway. And another tactic, which I will show you, that you can use is reload your gun. It actually helps, you know. But you can also whistle them up, which does help. But we'll try and get as many of these guys as we can, if we can even hit one. Second shotgun's not even loaded, so we're not going to use that. <laughs> and we're just going to whip this bad boy out, because it's just as good. I'm hoping that should be all of them, which means we've got those two nice level fours as well. Let's go see what we got. Once again, unfortunately, as I thought, it was a brown hybrid. Oh, I saw from underneath, that's all I could see was that little speckling there, which I thought it could have been a bald leucistic, but unfortunately, no such luck. There's one of the level four guys, 7.2, which isn't actually half bad. It's not the biggest one that I've shot that has been a level four. And another 7.2 there, so that is both of the level fours there. I think the Hunter DD33. He confirmed with one that he shot that level fours can make diamond if they're very, very high end. But a lot of the time, if they're going to be a diamond, they are going to be a level five. That's why I knew that once we got that level five, there was a really good chance that that guy was going to make it. Well, guys, in terms of this hunt, I think that we've pretty much exhausted ourselves, haven't we, Tari? He's looking a little bit tired there. So I think that we're going to love yous and leave yous. Uh, we've been out here a couple of hours. We've found some cool uncommons, not rares, but we've found some uncommons found that absolute giant diamond and i hope that i've also been able to bring you some information that if you didn't know you know now so hopefully that did end up helping you out got another goose over there i haven't picked up yet so i'll go and do that off camera but i do appreciate you guys if you would like to see some more goose hunting stick around for the next like minute or two <laughs> but if you guys would like to see some more goose hunting let me know in the comments below because i really do enjoy doing it it's honestly one of my favorite things to do in call of the wild i'll just take these with the 22 just because i'm wrapping this thing up <laughs> we don't need to get them all i think we've shot our limit today but yeah as always thanks very much for watching guys i really do appreciate it so i will see you all in the next one Cheers, guys. Hold up, guys. I can't let you go yet. We just found another level five. I don't think that this one is going to make diamond. It's got seven to eight. That's a low estimate for these guys. And they're flying right out of the top of us, so we're not going to get them to land, that's for sure. But if we can do this correctly, which it's very likely we're not going to. We did hit him. He's going to go down, thankfully. Might take him a little while because we didn't get him very well, but we're just going to run underneath him and catch him when he falls pretty much. Usually they'll die from that. Don't know that there's a limit on the amount of times you can shoot him. If there is, we're about to reach it, but we'll soon see. And we've got a big run ahead of us because we're just going to have to run and run and run and until he dies. Because... <laughs> I don't know. He is going to die. It's going to take a hell of a long time. He should be about to go down. He should be about to go down. 0 to 25. Any second now. He's going to flop. And he's going to die. Come on, buddy. There we go. Didn't think he was going to go down, but he did. Thankfully. Thank God for that. But I did say before that I've never had a troll level 5. And I've jinxed myself big time. Because if this does end up trolling... And then I've definitely jinxed myself. Um, <laughs> but hopefully 
we're not gonna have to put up with that hopefully it'll just make it i was just thinking about it and with the top estimate kunkin out at eight i doubt he's gonna make it at all to be honest which is surprising being a level five but i oh, made it <laughs> just made it right on 8.5 holy moly talk about clutch i was filming the outro just finished filming the outro and this guy comes up we'll taxidermize that as well that means we've got two monster diamonds for this hunt really surprised that, that actually made it i'm super super happy about that but now i'm just gonna leave before anything else silly happens so thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time